Hey guys, it's Garage Sailor Vaughn here, and I'm going to show you my finds from the last uh, two weeks, I would say. So here is a pair of... My cat is in the background. Um, she likes to be on all my videos. I mean, as soon as I set up my camera, she jumped up on my bed, so... She's going to be in the video. Um, don't know where she's going. She's venturing. So here is my first pair of jeans. Uh, these are women's seven for all mankind jeans and I paid six dollars for them and they should go for about 50 and they're in really really great shape next pair up is a pair of lucky brand jeans and these are women's um, they're in pretty good shape uh, not not many signs of use but definitely used and these should go for around twenty five dollars and I paid six for these two uh, you can see like that's the classic design on the pocket for Lucky Jeans. And not nothing special really. They don't do too well, but I figured for $6 I'd still be able to make a profit. Next pair of jeans are Armani Jeans. I uh, haven't really sold many, if any, pairs of Armani Jeans. Big old men's jeans. Um, Armani Exchange on the tag. And these are what the jeans look like. Um, they don't do too well, but um, in decent shape, um, I would say that these are going to go for around $30. And I paid 6 for these too. Next pair of jeans are Levi's, gray Levi's. Um, th these kind of jeans will always sell and always do pretty well. Size 32 by 32, I believe. And so that's a really popular size. Um, so these are men's, and my estimate is like $35 for them, and I paid 6 Next pair of jeans are some women's. I think they're women's. It's really hard to tell sometimes if they're women's or if they're men's jeans. But these have like a big pocket, so I thought they'd be um, more of a men's pair of jeans. But here, I'll, I'll open them up and show you. They have... So you unbutton it. They have a short zipper, for one. That's one reason I think they're women's, because men's don't really have a short zipper often or ever and then the second thing would be the pocket the pockets are tiny here is the full length of the pocket I mean it's really small it's like a woman's pocket um, it's not like super short but it's still it's pretty short so those are the two things that make me think it's a women's um, there's not too much space between here and here um, but if you look at the back, I mean, I think they look much more like men's jeans. So, I'm going to have to say that they're probably women's jeans. So I still have to research them a little bit more before I list them to avoid a return. Um, yeah, but I'm going to say that they're women's for now, just for those reasons. And my estimate for these is only like $20, so I shouldn't have got them because it's not even worth the hassle of a return if that's the case, but I didn't know. Um, they're in really good shape. They have like purposeful um, fraying and stuff. I got a lot of random stuff, so it's, I'm just going to pick up whatever I can find and show you that. Uh, these are Nike dry fit pants, really good shape. Uh, Nike stuff always does really well. If you can get anything Nike in good shape for a low price, you're pretty good on that. And yeah, these are pretty nice pants. And my estimate for these is like $25, and I paid $4. And the next thing is this jacket. It is an Olympics jacket. It says USA with the Olympics thing. And here's the tag. If it focuses, you can see the tag. There we go. Um, it's not really an extra large, it's more of a large, but whatever. And my estimate for this is like $25, and I think I paid $6 for it. It might even, it might not even go for $25, it might only go for like 20 I thought it would do well, but maybe if I wait to the next Olympics, it'll sell much easier. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys this next. Uh, this is a Volcom jacket, and... Literally, the person I bought it from there said it was like brand new. They said it's never been worn, just the tags were taken off. Um, this is what it looks like. It's like checkers on the inside. It's like full of different stuff. 
It is called Volcom V line. And apparently this is like their top of the line kind of jacket stuff. It's like fully um, waterproof and durable and all this stuff has like, these are reflective. It has a hood. I don't know. It's just really nice jacket and it is my size so I'm actually going to be keeping it and not selling it but if I were to sell it my estimate would be around forty five dollars in this condition right now these are ASICs and here I'll just show you the tag in the inside Um, the, and that is the model right there and they're in really good shape um, these running shoes are um, very popular this uh, model um, this one guy saw them after I already grabbed them and he's like oh those are great shoes um, and he because he wanted them but I got them I think I paid four dollars for them and my estimate is that they're going to sell on eBay for around $30. Uh, they're not new, but they're still in really good shape. Normally I save my favorite stuff for last, but might as well just put it now in the center of the video. These right here. Uh, these are like old man fancy shoes. And I almost had no interest in going over and even looking at them. But here I'll show you the first thing I noticed. I just happened to pick it up. And I looked on the bottom. Do, do, do. So if you can see the bottom, it says Genuine Lizard. Um, so because of that, I had to get them for $4. Pretty worn. Not too bad. Um, but yeah, here, are, here they are. Here, and I'll show you a picture of the inside. This is what the inside looks like. So this is all genuine lizard skin. Um, I looked them up and I think I could easily get like $85 for these. Just because there aren't too many of these listed on eBay or even have sold on eBay. And the ones that have sold have had a lot of bids. And I mean, if this is one person's size, they're going to pay uh, whatever price for it. So I could probably sell it for even more than 85 but... I think that's a fair price for this condition because better condition was going for like 150 but this condition I think it's fair at 85 so I think I'll easily sell it at 85 next I'll show you guys my hats finds um, I don't buy too many hats but I happen to get a few hats so it's the first one it is a Stanley Cup Champions Anaheim Ducks hat from 2007 and I paid two dollars for it and my estimates only like fifteen bucks hopefully next one is a used Ferrari hat uh, it's genuine Ferrari hat I have a lot of Ferrari hats so I know um, the good ones and this is one that hasn't been made in a while um, my estimate for this in this condition is only like 15 bucks, but that's good since I only paid $2. And this one is a Division Champions 2006 AFC West Reebok Playoffs. Um, so this hat, and all these hats seem to be in really good shape. Um, this hat is probably going to go for around 15 bucks too, and I paid $2 for it. And here's the last hat, probably the most disappointing. This is a 2002 World Series Champions hat, Clubhouse Collection, the bottom. Um, my estimate for this is only like 10 bucks, and I paid two. Here's the next thing, it is an extra large Fila tennis jacket. Fila, it's a tag on the inside. I paid six dollars for this jacket, and my estimate is that I'm probably going to be able to sell it for around 35 dollars. I don't want to unfold all this, but this is a Juicy Couture um, jacket and pants. And they're just brown, used condition. They have like this 
gritty feel to them I really hate. Um, I paid $10 um, for both of them. And I think they're only going to go for like $35. Um, not bad, but whatever. I would show you, I would open it up and show you guys, but it's just, they're just basic brown jacket and pants. Here's the next thing. It's really unusual too. I've never got anything like it. Um, but it's like a dress, not dress, but like a dress suit for a girl. I don't really know what you call this. Um, but it's actually, you know, the jean brand, Seven for All Mankind. Apparently they make clothes too. Here, this is what the tag is. Seven for all mankind. And yeah, I don't know exactly how to explain what this thing is. Do 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 do. Um, but apparently they sell really well on eBay. Uh, this thing's really wrinkly. Uh, not sure how to what to do about that, but um, my estimate for this is like. Well, I, feel, I think I wrote $80 down. Let me see. Yeah, $80. It's a utility coat, and they sell for $180 on the 7 for All Mankind website. Uh, slate gray color, lightly used, and I paid $6 for it. And yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get $80, which would be incredible. Uh, I'll show you guys like the detail. Like Every button says 7 for All Mankind on it. I got a couple more random pairs of jeans I just found. So here's a pair of men's jeans, size 34 by 30. Um, pretty good shape. I paid six dollars, and my estimate is thirty dollars for these. Next, these are pretty cool. These are actually my size, but I wouldn't wear anything this crazy. Um, these are Max jeans, and um, yeah, they're in really, really good shape. Um, they're used and I paid six dollars and my estimate is sixty dollars for these. Here's a little random thing. Um, I actually got this for free. They were giving them out at something I went to. They had a box full of them. Um, I've never heard of anything like this before. I thought I was just going to throw it away. I just took it because I was being nice. And They're called the zip bag here. It's brand new. I mean I actually took it out of the plastic before I looked it up. It was brand new in the plastic. Uh, but I took it out, and apparently they're going for like 20 bucks on eBay, so I don't know what, I don't know, I was really surprised. So yeah, I got this for free, and I'll get 20 bucks for it. Here are my next little random things. I got another pair of glasses. Um, they're in pretty used shape. I hate wearing glasses because it never focuses on the glasses. It focuses on everything else. But yeah, they're yellow and black. And these are Fossil glasses, the brand Fossil. And the model is Dean 0807145. Um, they're really simple. Um, they're prescription. So these are useless. But the frames are in really bad shape too. They also look like someone, the person that owned them, chewed all right here, which is unfortunate. But, you know, I put my estimate at $20. But honestly, because of all this chewing, I think it's going to be like 15. Um, if they were in good shape, it'd be like four times that. But yeah, so $15 and I paid uh, $2 for it. Not too bad. Next thing I got is a pink striped uh, Ralph Lauren polo shirt. Uh, here's the tag so you guys can see. It is a Blake. And every time I get a Blake, it sells really easily. Um, so my estimate is 30 bucks for this and um, I'll have no problem getting that. And it's a size small. It's in great shape. doesn't have any stains or anything. Here's the next shirt. It is a Lucky Brand uh, shirt. Here's the tag on the inside. Lucky Brand. And I paid $4 for this uh, shirt. And my estimate is like only like $15. So really wasn't worth it that much. It would probably cost me over three fifty to ship it. Not too heavy, but uh, yeah, it's in really great shape. It's just um, I actually looked it up on the website and um, on the Lucky Brand website they retailed it originally for sixty nine dollars, but currently you can get it for like I think twenty dollars. So that just proves that this exact model no one was buying. So it's very unfortunate, and that's probably why I'm only going to get like $15 for it. 
Here is the next thing. This is a women's diesel shirt. Uh, if this was men's, it would sell really quickly and really easily. But this is a women's diesel shirt. And um, I paid $4 for it. And my estimate is like 25 bucks. Next thing is a common thing I sell a lot of. And it's another Ralph Lauren polo shirt. Here's the tag. Um, it's in great shape. Red and white, tiny striped. Um, so my estimate is this is going to go for like 23 bucks. Uh, that's what I always list them for, and they always sell for that price. So it's a big extra large, I think, right? Extra large. Oh, it doesn't have a, it doesn't say extra large. It says 1834-35. Here is the next thing. It is a men's diesel um, tank top. No sleeves. And here's the design. Doo -doo. Uh, it's in like brand new condition. It has no signs of wear anywhere on it, really. But... Um, I paid four dollars for it and my estimate is gonna go for like twenty five dollars here's the next thing I got and it is another obey shirt big obey shirt uh, this is the design and this is the tag tag of course is not focusing there it is so I paid two dollars for this shirt and my estimate is like 20 bucks for it just because it has a pretty cool design um, it's black and it's a little faded but still pretty black and good shape it doesn't have any problems so I think I'll be able to get $20 for it next one I'm not gonna unfold it is a Ruka shirt I show you guys these in all my videos I get them a lot um, this one's in great shape really soft and I'll probably get like 20 bucks for this one I normally sell Ruka shirts um, for like 15 to $20 depending on the design and the condition and um, popular size so this is an extra large and I'll have no problem getting like 20 bucks for it. And I paid two, I think. And I have one more Ruka shirt, so ditto to everything I just said. Uh, this one will probably go for 20. This one doesn't have as cool of a design, so it might go for like more like 15, but I'm gonna start it at 20. And the next thing, I'll open it up for you guys. It is a Billabong long sleeve shirt. Uh, it's just gray, dark gray and light gray. And it says Billabong in the middle. Uh, pretty nice. The tag looks like for this. Um, paid $2 for this, and my estimate is like $28. So here is everything that I got the last couple weeks. It was a lot, and that means I have a lot of work ahead of me to uh, get all this stuff listed and sold and shipped. So thank you guys so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.